Okay, so this is uh, on the screen, and yesterday we discussed about the trophies, the tournaments uh, related to this chapter one, that is uh, changing trends and career in physical education, and we discussed about the competitions in various sports at national and international level uh, before we start another topic uh, there is one more uh, topic added to this that is uh, related to changing trends in sports playing surface wearable gears and sports equipment technological advancements so <laughs> we will discuss about this topic today earlier though we have uh, discussed these topics about the meaning of pe the aim and objectives of physical education then these objectives we have discussed earlier physical objective mental social neuromuscular coordination emotional development development of health we also discuss this career options in physical education and uh, we have done this also that these things are mainly uh, related to the research the professionalism and the commercialization and of course we discuss about what actually career is and the types of career available at present so this also we discussed uh, and the traditional careers and the modern careers so to be discuss all these and yesterday we discuss about the competitions in various sports at national and international level and we covered these games except 2 3 gymnastics uh, then archery nothing yes athletics we discuss badminton basketball football hockey then swimming volleyball so these games we discussed now the next is something related to the equipment or the playing surface that we have in the course uh, introduced this year so there again when we start with the games that is the athletics we call that as a multi sport event and uh, there again uh, it is the running takes place on the synthetic track as we discussed earlier with the eight lanes now there are nine lanes and uh, the track is marked and all the events takes place on the track and uh, there the running shoes or we call that as spike that plays a important role uh, as earlier the running shoe was of around 300 to 350 grams the weight now it is lighter than that it is around 140 to 160 gram and uh, there are uh, screwed nails also which can be adjusted as per the competition and uh, as per the event so this is also the change in the weight and the uh, the structure of the spike that is also changed the fabric of that 
particular spike is also changed. Uh, there again, uh, even the there is uh, help for the amputee running also, amputee athletes. You must have uh, heard about Oscar Pistorius, South African great athlete. Uh, so though he is in uh, something, he was debarred for some uh, mishappening. So he is not participating, but he was a double amputee with artificial legs. And he participated with the normal category athletes in the Olympics. And these uh, artificial legs, uh, with which are made of carbon fiber, uh, low, lower legs, and they were adjusted to his knees, and he was able to run on the track. So that is again, and he was known as a blade runner. So that is again the change. Uh, then is the photo finish timing system at the finish of the race. Again, that is there because uh, especially when we talk about the short distance races, 100 meters, 200, 400 meters. So there, the chances are that most of the athletes finish uh, with the same timing, but there is a little bit of difference. So that difference is uh, taken care by the photo finish timing system, where even the fraction of second matters, because uh, it is the torso finish now, that is the technique. So wo jo hamara photo finish camera that is kept uh, away from the finish line, and from there, the pictures is, the recording is uh, done and uh, the position is declared as per the photo finish camera. So that is also there. And then we have the starting block sensors. You must have seen in the running events. So they say on your mark, set and go and Starting block ke niche aap dekhenge ek wire hota hai. So that is the sensor wire and which is attached to all the blocks. Jo bhi runner hota hai, jo bhi starting line par hota hai. Thik hai? So that starting block sensor measure the reaction time of the athlete. Okay. So wahan se ek to... Ye pata lag jata hai ki early start to nahi hua ya fall start to nahi hua. That is also the technique now. There is a change uh, that there should not be any fall start. Everyone should start uh, when there is a gun fire. So that is there. And uh, then next we have the uh, <coughs> laser distance measurement technique. If you have competitions, so they uh, generally don't take the measuring tape. It is the laser distance measurement. They measure at what distance the discus is thrown or at what distance the shot is thrown or the hammer or the javelin. So that is again the technique, uh, laser distance measurement. And it is very much accurate as far as these things are concerned. Then we have the badminton racket. That is now it is the uh, nano ray racket and which is uh, composed of new nanometric material, which is uh, basically it is the carbon fiber made lightweight. Earlier, the rackets were of wood tennis racket, badminton racket, but they are now uh, carbon fiber made rackets. And there again, the weight is also less as it was uh, heavier otherwise. 
and then if we talk about chess there again there is a use of the electronic board where you can see the moves on the screen that is again the change the latest thing which is there for chess chess again consists of uh, three types of uh, events are there so one is the rapid game then is the blitz and the other one is the tie break format so these are the type of uh, competitions and then if we come to cricket so can anyone tell about something about the technical aspect of cricket aapne abhi ipl dekha so what have you seen something which is related to the technology yes nipun sir drs system okay so can anyone can anyone say something about this so that was uh, something uh, maybe uh, empire is not able to view that so that is why these decisions something related to the uh, catch that sneak of the bat is not there or the batsman was lbw or not or the ball has touched the bat or not or the catch is taken fairly without the ball being uh, bounced on the ground so these are basically the drs is something which we call that decision review system that is there so there again uh, the help is taken of the third umpire uh, if there is a need to change the original decision which is given by the uh, on field umpire so that is again the hawk i uh, technical uh, term is used there which is uh, to judge the lbw decisions for 100% accuracy and then is the hot spot that is whether the ball has touched the bat or not you must have seen uh, during the replays or uh, any team has taken the uh, drs for the review of the decision and even the there are some gadgets also they have been introduced uh, as far as the uh, uh, cricket is concerned the bowling machine is there uh, which ex actually uh, throws the ball at the speed the speed can be changed so that is also there then of course we have the led bales and stumps now you must have seen them as soon as the ball hits the stumps so they blink the light blinks there so that is the led bales and stumps are in use uh, now a days and the cost is almost uh, 20 lakhs plus of that set it is not uh, the cost is on the higher side and then we have the different cricket gears also they are the recycle uh, polyurethane pu or the pvc made uh, material is there they are lighter on the weight and they can absorb the ball in a better way without uh, the batsman being get hurt because the the pace with which the bowler is bowling that is almost 150 plus 
most of the bowlers they are bowling at the speed of 140 45 50 and 50 plus okay so that is again the changes in the sports gear and uh, then we have the again there is a technical uh, change that is the helmet camera you must have seen the camera uh, in the umpires the umpire which Uh, who wears the helmet and there is a camera uh, above that so that is again there to view the correct to give the correct decision that is also there and then we have the uh, camera spider cameras on the ground to view the field and uh, the ball and the other things upside and even we can check the drop in catches from that camera so this is the uh, technical aspect that has been changed and even when we talk about so there are few more changes as far as the games is concerned and even the football also uh, so we have the uh, again the hawkeye that is the ball tracking system uh, which is kept which is uh, kept near the goal post to see that the ball has crossed the goal line or not that is again the goal reference is taken for any of the foul that is also there in football and uh, uh, one more thing also we have that is the foam vanishing foam that is used by the referee on the field uh, you must have seen that uh, they mark put the mark on the ground and that foam vanishes after some time ki uh, the players should not hit beyond this line or if there is a distance between the the person the player who is kicking the ball and the person who is defending the ball so that distance is also uh, seen shown through this foam that the player should not cross that line from both the sides so that is also their vanishing foam that referees are using uh, nowadays and even the ball modified ball that is also their censored ball where uh, this was started in 2014 uh, 2014 world cup that was uh, in brazil so that was also that is also there and then there are uh, these technical things which has been introduced uh, for football so and even so that's it so these are the few technical uh, aspects which i have uh, shared with you so any question from your side related to this or anything if you want to add on to this related to the technical aspect of the game uh, or any question from this so please uh, try to keep yourself updated if i have shared these things with you so i must have uh, read from somewhere so it is through the books through the newspaper the information information which is shared there so i have also discussed with you so you also go through these uh, informations uh, make a note of these things 
and keep yourself updated so next topic uh, we will start is uh, that is again uh, related to the khelo india program uh, which is very much uh, there in india now in all states and uh, this program as you must uh, be looking at the screen i have mentioned these things here so it is the program uh, which was started by the ministry of sports and youth affairs in 2017 and uh, at that time mr rajyavardhan singh rathor was the sports minister so though this was uh, started by the central ministry ministry of sports and youth affairs and uh, first these games uh, were held in uh, delhi also delhi maharashtra and again the third one is due uh, this year so basically the vision of these khelo india games or the program was uh, to infuse sports culture and achieve sporting excellence in the country that is that was main vision of uh, these khelo india program and where the under 17 students were allowed to participate for different games yeah. and the mission was means vision is something which is uh, related to the upcoming days what we will get out of this that is the vision and mission is what we will get today what we will learn today that is the mission so that is to encourage sports influence community development healthy lifestyle or the provide opportunities to the players nurturing the talent raw talent so that is the mission and that is the vision vision is for the upcoming days and the mission is for the current duration current time that is the khelo india program that was started in our country and mainly the this was started by our prime minister mr uh, narendra modi uh, in the year 2017 vedant are you there vedan priya anshika riya please video on kijiye riya kapoor are you there in the class then why your camera is not on please do write also whatever i am saying please do write that so i will share this material with you later on and that is for you only so that you get maximum information regarding this topic so mainly this khelo india program uh, was started for the school going children but later stage the second one which was held in maharashtra pune so there this program was introduced for the college going students also under 21 category to begin with it was for under 17 and later on it was uh, introduced for under 21 uh, boys and girls in 2019 that was held in pune and the objectives or we say the development what the objectives for to introduce these uh, khelo india program was mainly 
the play field development something which is related to the play field development means uh, to provide the playgrounds proper well maintained playgrounds and the equipment there so all the players should get proper facilities and the equipment in the stadiums in the sports complex so that the maximum players should get the surface of this kind international surface to practice there on the synthetic track the proper ground or maybe the indoor basketball court indoor badminton court uh, indoor swimming pool so that was mainly the first objective was uh, play field development something related to the proper play field and then the there was the funding part also for this and funding for the community as a whole you must have seen i have discussed with you earlier that uh, the stadiums the number are less even if we talk about delhi so the government they have made the sports complex near your area so there we have the uh, pitampura sports complex the rohini sports complex nearby so that is uh, the player should not go to the far away places they get the facilities nearby only so that was the main purpose to uh, make the sports complex in the nearby area so that the community participation should increase that is there and then was the community coaching development that is also the objective of the khelo india program and there uh, the training part is involved and uh, the certificate are also given there and the curriculum development kits are also provided and online resources are also given and there is the financial aspect is also and mainly the suggestion was that to begin with uh, the volunteers and the physical education teachers uh, should be provided the basic training of all the games or the training related to the community coaching development and for that curriculum for only the curriculum development uh 5 crore rupees is being allotted for this purpose so that is again uh to develop more community coaches that is there that was the purpose of uh this community coaching development program and this was uh taken care by the uh, sports authority of india and the lakshmi bai national institute of physical education that is in gwalior so they have developed uh, this program and still the teachers are getting training uh, related to the community coaching development then next is the state level uh, khelo india centers so at least there should be one state level uh, coaching center in each state that is the purpose that is the aim of the government of the the ministry of youth affairs and sports and where they have uh, started with the csr project can anyone tell what is csr project or just i am giving you the clue that uh some financial aid from the uh, the donations from the corporate houses
so that is also uh, introduced that is the corporate social responsibility so that is the fund uh, allotted to all the corporate houses that they have to uh, put this fund for the coaching part for the sports equipment part or to develop the state level khelo india centers so the things are again uh, in the pipeline the tatas they are already doing the archery uh, academy is there tata football academy is there even this uh, reliance uh, they are also into this so this way uh, this is this was also introduced that every corporate house should invest some percentage of their profit uh, for the development of sports facilities throughout the country in the states then is the annual sports competitions to organize annual sports competitions though the competitions were not held uh, during last two years due to covid but again this year uh, we are starting with the under 17 competition already we had the competitions for under 21 category and there the jain university they were at the top they got maximum medals this time for khelo india under 21 age category games and in the coming months we have for under 17 category also so that is also the objective to organize annual sports competitions at the national level to be organized by the ministry of uh, youth affairs and sports so again there the chance is given to everyone to participate but at the national level not at the school level or though selection is done from the zonal or the state level but the competition is organized at the national level then one more objective is talent identification and development so i discussed about the catch them young uh slogan i discussed with you yesterday and uh, so can anyone tell something about that which we have discussed yesterday pay and play scheme catch them young so anshika please your camera is not on can you say something about that what that is to encourage young players to come up yes supriti so basically it's introducing different types of districts uh, and uh, it has been introduced mostly everywhere so people the, the young players who uh, who are well enough to for the betterment and so uh, their performance increases and they compete in this that's why this scheme has been introduced a common play scheme anyone else great who want to just add on to this what sukriti said so that was the main purpose was uh, the talent identification and development of that that was there that catch them young catch them at young age and uh, pay and play of course those who can play they should pay and play utilize the facilities so that is also the objective of the khelo india games the to identify the talent and further develop them by providing them proper coaching proper facilities and the coaching advanced coaching that is the training part is also there their diet part is also there so these are the different 
objectives others uh, we will discuss later on